Hey everybody, it's Mike Venus La Soul and I'm back. And I want to talk about the new NPC software and comparing that to the old NPC workflow. And obviously I gotta speak about the Akai Force. So let's get into it. So I have had the pleasure to use the NPC Live 2. I had that for two years and I sold it. I sold it primarily because I did not like using the touchscreen. And I feel like as it gets it gets older, the touchscreen is going to become more of a hindrance than a uh, advantage. And I like the, I, I wanted something that was more tactile, so I bought the Force, right? When it, you know, hit the 3.0.5 update, I invested in the Force and I got a Force. And the software is totally different. You know, it was always in the three, uh, the, it started out with the 3.0. And so like learning it, it took me about a year to learn it because it was totally different from the 2.0 system or OS that was inside the NPCs of the new gen. Um, I had the X and we got, we got rid of that shit within, I say a couple weeks. I tried so hard to to work. It just, I don't know if it was the cords or something, but it would not, it was too glitchy and it wasn't working. So I like that you had the bigger screen, it was adjustable, you had a lot of dedicated buttons, but because of the updates that they were doing, they want you to touch the screen. So it, it, that took me out of it. Um, and it was just fucking big. It was just, absurdly big so I was just like I'm not feeling this and um, by that time when we got the X and we already had the, two, the um, NPC 2000 XL and I was working on that um, I like the 2000 XL it is pro like or just any of the older NPCs it's that it doesn't come with sounds and all that it is probably the best way to work and it's probably the more um, organic way to create if you have, if you desire, or if you have that MP, like the older NPCs, because you have to put sounds into it. So you got to sample into it, which is good because that colors the sound and the converters from digital to audio coming out of it just hit harder. So I was like, I really liked it. So we didn't get rid of the, the 2000 XL, obviously you see it on the, the table, stuff like that, but I want a 3K. I'm gonna get a 3K, but it's mainly for the sound, right? But what I, what I realized when I got the 2000 XL, when well, my wife bought it for the studio and I was, you know, working around and getting familiar with it, I really liked it. It was, it, it made the process of making music fun and creative you know and with the limit you know the limited features because people are so feature driven um it's not that's not a hindrance it actually helps because it makes the workflow real simple you know what i'm saying you got either drum tracks or midi tracks that that's simple and you can control up to 32 channels of midi to you know, work with MIDI um, instruments, right? And the MIDI's tight, so I like the 2000 XL. And and then you know the the 3K got eight outs automatically, and you know it has um, two in, four out MIDI. So it's one of the it's it's built for a studio, and it's professional grade, but. The Force software, which is now, it's like a watered down version in the newer NPCs. I'm telling you, it, it's nothing like that previous knowledge and, and skill set that you learn from working on the older NPCs. It's like the Force, but it's not like the Force. Okay? Um... And 
I don't know if it was smart for Kai to do this because like it's one thing to, to gradually work somebody into a, a new workflow then to just drop something and that it totally obliterates the previous workflow because all that skill and knowledge and and you know techniques that you develop on the older NPCs that could translate to the newer NPCs when it was in the two NPC two um, software and OS, it was a kind of a smoother transition with some added, you know, uh, added uh, um, features. But it wasn't like it was foreign. This is something totally different. And when I saw the video, my wife was like, "What you think?" I'm like. I was like, nah, I don't want that. I don't want it. I don't want no newer NPC. Cause she saw the NPC one, it was red. She was like, oh, that's nice. I was like, no. I said it's limited. And with this new software, you just gonna be touching the screen. You know what I'm saying? And oh, somebody texted me or something. So, um, sorry for the pause. Um so like, okay, what's what's different from the old NPC workflow to the new one with the 3.0 software, right? Or OS and the newer ones compared to the older NPC workflow. Number one, song mode is done away with, which I thought, I had no issue with song mode. I thought it was, made it really easy. You know, when, when I used to make beats on the live too, like, it was easy to just craft a song real quick. I, I have my sequences set up, like my intro, my hook, my verse, maybe a pre-chorus, and then I can just pop, 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 like lay, lay it down and then push play and then convert it to a sequence and then save the sequence as, or convert the sequence into a WAV file and I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to have the visual, you know, layout of all that but now with the arranger in there i'm gonna be honest with you i like i'm not i don't go too hard into the arranger on the force because one it's it's hard as hell to be lent you know bent over trying to like look at this seven inch screen to try to like arrange a beat and get it where you can like you know move and take shit out it's just a lot it's a lot of extra work you know unnecessary where on the npc the older ones and then on the two point uh whatever the, the npc2 software you can like have your sequences and mute tracks on different sequences so that like if you want to drop out you can either record the dropout or you can just basically have those tracks muted so it made the workflow more faster, where now you have to do extra work. You know what I'm saying? And you're forced to use the arranger. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that sucks. And then I was watching Bolo, um, the producer, and he works with keyboards and he does the MIDI thing. He's He got kind of got an old school workflow, right? And he was like, it's glitchy. Well, welcome. Welcome to the three. Um, NPC three OS. It's glitchy. It's glitchy on the force. Why you think um, I got my car force with the MIDI coming out, going into the NPC 2000 XL to control my Yamaha MX 49 keyboard. It's because the MIDI is tighter on the 2000 XL and the MIDI is lagging and glitchy on the force as it is on these newer um, NPCs with the update, you know? So it's like, it's ridiculous, bro. And then, so song mode is gone. The arranger, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you wanna arrange your beats, you better off just converting that shit to um, stems or whatever and just or record that shit straight into your doll and arrange it like that the old school way of tracking out beats into the software 
to arrange the beat because using the arranger on the NPCs and on the force can be very um, unnecessary and, and time consuming. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to learn a whole bunch of, you know, gestures and you got to use the touch screen more. And it's just like, I understand the touch screen is supposed to be like this advancement and, you know, workflow, but it's not. It's, it's really, you can't develop no workflow where you have to constantly touch the screen. You develop a workflow or muscle memory by touching dedicated buttons or having button combinations that you remember under your fingers, just like if you was playing an instrument. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, even the built quality isn't that good. Like my force, is, I don't feel comfortable really moving this shit around the same way I didn't feel comfortable moving the NPC Live 2 around because it felt that it could break and it was cheaply built. And to be honest, this is nothing more than a very, very slow, slow moving computer inside a MIDI controller. That's what the new Akai products is. And I don't, I don't care if they got smoke with me, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I know about Akai Professional and how they deal with people. And, you know, look at all these, these YouTubers. They whole channel was built around this damn NPC. They made all these videos about the workflow. Now they got to spend almost, a, a, like I said, it took me about a year with the force to get it down to where it's like, like that. Now they got to teach all that. You know what I'm saying? Are they going to do that? I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? I had to stop producing, like publishing music for almost a year just to get that shit under my, under my own um, fingers with the um with the force and then if they keep adding these updates which they do it it comes with bugs you know what i'm saying so even with the force like I, I i still work on stuff but i haven't got to the point where i'm publishing stuff again because i don't know if that shit's gonna be glitchy plus another thing is all the music that you made and i make a lot of music because i like to i'm i'm Really, my strength is composing. That's like coming up with songs, writing stuff. You know, I don't really like to sample, you know, stuff like that's already made. I like to make my stuff. All that stuff I, I made on the 2.0, on the live, it has to now get converted to the 3.0. And they haven't even put that out yet. So it's like if you had all these, all this work that you done did, on the on the old OS of the newer NPCs, and it's it, it's you have to wait now for that to work, and then more or less it's gonna probably be glitchy. So it's kind of like all that work just got tossed to the wind if you didn't convert it to a WAV file. You know what I'm saying? And even trying to pull up music that I made, like projects that I made on the live too, onto the forest. It makes my force freeze. You know what I'm saying? So I have to do this like hard turn off, turn back on, and that's just fucking it up. So I don't even pull up my old projects to even try to arrange it in the arranger. If I wanted, you know, you know, refine it and stuff. So it's like, honestly, you better off getting an older NPC. So I, in a way, I, I, I feel bad, but then I don't feel bad for all those people who became basically um, puppets, if that's the best way I can describe it, puppets for the new NPCs and stuff, you know, and, and, and being a promoter for them, you know. Because now you got, now you, you, you caught in a catch 22. Are you going to go back to the older NPCs so you can use your workflow that you had developed for years? Or are you going to try to spend almost a year and pray that the software isn't buggy to learn that and then get back into the swing of making music? You know? So, you know. 
<laughs> it's funny, but it's okay. It's okay. Like I said, the older NPCs, the workflow is easy. It's simple. It's not too complicated. They're more reliable. You got to keep them up, but they're more reliable. Um, it's not too much to learn. And it's all you really need when it comes to like getting good drum sounds. I love how the drums sound out of the older NPCs. I like how the MIDI works. It's very, um, it's very solid. It's not lagging or um, glitchy. And you can like easily make a song on here on the older NPCs and basically track it out onto your DAW, your laptop. The way I use my setup, cause I don't really like being on a computer like that, um, is to sequence all my MIDI on the MPC 2000 XL, basically use it as like the connection to tighten up the MIDI that the force is lacking on to control my keyboard and then have my drum sounds come out of the um, MPC, sample into the MPC, layer up my drum sounds, get them the way I like, use the, the shifting and the swing of it, and then record it back into the force and then arrange it like that, like as loops or, or as audio tracks, and then arrange it just how I would on a computer. You know what I'm saying? And then the other thing is, to wrap it up, is that you're still limited on, you're more limited in the newer NPC um, software than you were before. So like the misconception was the audio tracks, right? On the old two point or the, the, the NPC two software, for each sequence, you had eight audio tracks, right? So if you move to another sequence, you got a brand new eight audio tracks, right? And you had the clips, that's gone. Now you stuck with just eight audio tracks on the new NPC software, right? The advantage that the force have is that on one audio clip, I mean one audio track, I can make varied, varied clips of different sounds and then convert them to drum tracks or loops and then play it like that as one shots you know what i'm saying but you can't do that on the new npcs the other thing that the npc2 software had or the older npcs had over the force was that each sequence can have its own bpm so if you wanted let's say like you wanted to do a live performance and you had a, a let's say a track list of beats that you wanted to perform at an event or whatever, you can have them where each beat is on different sequences with different time, uh, uh, BPMs and times, and you could just switch to the next sequence and it'll be a smooth transition. You can't do that no more on, on the, um, the new NPCs. So I don't know exactly where they're going with this, but a lot of the, the things that you could do on the older NPCs or on the, the the NPC2 software. You can't do that no more in the NPC3 software. And it's gonna, I feel it's gonna turn a lot of people that were really diehard for the newer ones to kind of go back to the old ones or just be done with Akai, you know? Cause now it's, it's it, what I'm feeling is that Akai wants you just to use their device and nobody else's stuff. So if you want sounds, you got to buy their sounds. If you want, because the MIDI sucks, um, you don't have to go use a doll. You can use your 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 device. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, they even um, put it on Sweetwater and stuff as a hybrid doll standalone software. So it's, it's, it's going completely left. And it's really turning, it's going to turn a lot of people off from using the NPCs, the new gen NPCs, and make them go back to the older ones. 
and that's gonna make the price go up on the older ones. So, you know, if you have one of the older ones, I'll advise to keep it, probably get it refurbished, um, make any modifications to make it more modern. But if you want an NPC, you gotta go with the older NPCs because these newer NPCs is not it. They haven't been it since, probably say since the Renaissance. You know what I'm saying? And probably even the 5K. So that's all I gotta say about that. Yeah, if you wanna learn how to use the 3.0 software, probably just watch my Forest videos because I, I've been working with this for at least four years now. And I know that software and I know it's not nothing like the NPC workflow. And it's nothing like the newer NPC workflow. It has similarities, but it's totally different. Cause like even some of the stuff, like we have thing where we can use, um, you can put macros on the pads. So if I want to do track mutes, I can do that on the pads, but each project is like one sequence. So, you know, it's not like the NPC. So, you know, I don't like where they're going with this. You know, to those people who invested their channel in teaching the old way, those videos might go up, but y'all stray far away being basically fanboys and, and you know, to allow your channel to be basically turned into an infomercial for a car professional, you probably need to reevaluate that. I'm just saying. So with that... That's my thoughts on the new NPCs versus the old NPC and how it compares to the force workflow and this new um, software update on the NPCs and what I what I thought about it. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. I always respond to comments. So with that, y'all be blessed and Mike out.